All right. How's everybody doing? Welcome, 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 welcome to, to uh, a new episode of the podcast today. We're uh, very excited, uh, very happy to have... Uh, hey, uh, who's this guy right here? Uh, <laughs> we have a new guest, right? So I have a... Um, we have the pleasure to, to have here with us uh, an amazing guy. He's an amazing collector. Uh, I've known him for, for a while now. I, I, I meet him. I, I, I see him at, a, at every toy show. Um, he also has a, has a store. Uh, his store is called uh, Toy Atomico. Toy Atomic? Yeah, Toy Atomic. Toy Atomic. Sorry, Toy I said it in Spanish. <laughs> Toy Atomico. All right, okay. Toy Atomico. I'll put, I'll, put it in, I'll put it in the description, right? <laughs> uh, but please, please welcome to uh, Andres. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Andres, for being here. Thank you, uh, Ulises, Carlos, for having me over tonight. Thank you. I'm seeing a lot of goodies in front of me. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm take them all home with me. I know, I, and I want to just keep them here. <laughs> um, all right, so today we're, today we're going to talk about uh a toy line well before we jump into the toy line let me let me let me let me know a little bit more about about the collector um well first of all uh, i all i know about you know you andres i've seen you on on you know shows you 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 also have a, a store here in houston uh but but just you know tell me a little bit about about you you, you know since when are you collecting what do you collect okay. what's your passion um well i mean when we met what uh at the toy shows right yeah yeah, yeah. um uh, i guess uh i think i don't know more than a year ago yeah a little bit over a year ago yeah. I, I think i i kind of like met you right around the time that that i started collecting vintage i was looking for for stores uh your store is near carlos's store mm -hmm. yes so they're kind of like you know they're they're in the same area. It's a nice it's a nice place, you know where y'all are. That this they have like a, a, a series of of, of uh, stores together. And I first met Carlos, but then I I, I met you through Carlos. I saw right. you on the on the store, and then I saw show you at the shows. Yeah, we just kept um, just I guess bumping into each other, you know, at mm -hmm. toy shows, and then the store, and then I think it, it, Instagram, hey, so Instagram, oh, okay. I, right, and. Uh, didn't you meet at PowerCon as well? Uh, PowerCon, Power yeah. Yeah, but, but yes, when the first time that I went to PowerCon, I, I saw you. But I think I already, I already knew about you. I, we already, you know, yeah, crossed paths a couple we were of times, following each other and stuff like that. And and uh, but but any anyhow, um, so going back, uh, well, again, um, uh, I have a little bit of store, okay. uh, inside the antique over there in West Houston. Um, uh, I like to pronounce. To toy in English and then Atomico in Spanish. Ato I don't know. I just yeah. Uh, toy Atomico. <laughs> well, so what is, well, what is the name? Se habla español. Yeah, yeah, we speak Spanish in the store. So that name, where did it come from? Where did it come from? Um, uh, back then, I was just playing with names. Um, uh, some friends were suggesting ideas, mm -hmm. and uh, it just uh, I just wanted wanted to uh, have the name in Spanish. Okay, you know. And it went from like you know, atomic toys, you know, typical. It was a, like a just a, yeah. uh, a shower of, of yeah. ideas on. And um, uh, back then, a friend coined it, and uh, and then I just switched it. To, I think he said uh, atomic, atomicos, toys or something like that. And I was like, I'm just gonna keep it as uh, toy atomico. But that has no. nothing nothing to do with with a specific toy line or anything. Uh, well, no, actually, it, it does. Um, um, I was, uh, you know, the Shogun, the, the Godzilla. That's mm. the toy atomico. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, that, that's how I I call it because it, Godzilla was um, what nuclear. God. Right. So that's, oh, okay, okay. So it's, it's Godzilla. That's what I'm talking about. Toy atomico is the Godzilla. That's okay. what the profile oh. picture. And, and, and I think that's just like your mascot, right? For yes, your, yes, for that your, is. For, for your toy, yeah, that's, that's your mascot. Yes, I've, I've seen that. I, I really like your logo. Oh, oh thank okay. you. Well, now, it's, it's just a picture. Um, uh, my buddy Frank, uh, at that time, he owned the toy, and I asked him, "Hey, let me um, let me get a let me let me borrow it. I gotta take a picture. I gotta come up with something, uh, a profile uh, pic for the uh, store, and um, 
you know, I just just something quick, and, and mm-hmm. that's the I put it in black and white, and I was I liked it since then. Haven't really done anything to it, you know. Interesting. I, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Thing. When, when, yeah. when I was doing the 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 intro for the for the podcast, mm-hmm. you y'all, yeah, you've seen that 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 Shogun Godzilla walking. Yes. I, I did it myself, and I did. It. So I guess I wasn't that original at all. Like I was, I'm not the only one thinking about Godzilla as the as the as the mascot. But that that Godzilla, the Shogun, it's really popular. And yeah, it I, is. I, I honestly I don't. I think a, a hardcore collector, even even if they don't collect Shogun mm-hmm. or, or a messenger or anything like that, I think everybody has one. I don't know if somebody that does that. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's very iconic. Yeah, it's it, 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 so. perfect. Yeah. It's an iconic piece. It sure yes. is. Andres. Um, how long you been collecting, man? So, um, I think I've always been a collector, <laughs> some, uh-huh. of, you know, uh, of things. Um, but when I started collecting toys again was uh, after high school, and we're talking about two thousand and one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I graduated in two thousand, but it's two thousand and one. It's when I came across um. Uh, a toy at that time my mom was babysitting a, a kid mm-hmm. and he and he had a couple of toys you know mm-hmm. and it was a voltron that, ta- that he had me, don't tell me you, you, you stole that. you he stole, stole his no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what i'm that's what i'm, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing right like, he stole the kids uh pictures <laughs> I know Carlos would have. Yeah, it's like taking candy from a baby. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I mean, <laughs> nah, no, nah, I we caught not. it. We caught it. We caught it. It, 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 it is. Well, I it. literally just picked it up, and I was like, so amazed to see something that you know. A couple of years back, I thought you know all these things were like extinct. You know, mm. like I had you know I was um, what I was like seventeen back then, so. Um, anyway, so I picked it up and I had a friend over visiting and, you know, around the same age. And, and he was also very um, surprised to see that this Voltron and it was uh, the Trend Masters mm-hmm. uh, Voltron from back then from 97. Yeah, I think yeah, they yeah, yeah. So he had that I one. Co- yeah. I don't collect Voltron, but yeah. I am. Yes. And um, and and again, uh, uh, I was just very surprised to see it because mm-hmm. I thought that, you know, um, the toys should have been uh, thrown away. Yeah, thrown away. Exactly. Well, I was like with Voltron because Voltron is, it has a lot of moving parts, like Transformers, yeah. and a lot of moving parts. So them parts tend to break, don't they? I mean, um, y- yeah. I mean, uh, they were plastic. When you combine them and things like that, mm-hmm. I mean, they, yeah. they do have they. T- I mean, I think anything that has like a moving uh, part, if if it lasted the, the you know the time. Mm-hmm. That, and to find it like in good condition. So this kid, yeah. this kid had this Voltron. Now this Voltron was how old? Like, well, actually, I kind of, I kind of. Like, why, why does this kid had it? Like, well, I kind of mixed it, mix, mixed it up a, a bit right now because um, we're talking around two, uh, 2001, and those things came out around 97, 98, the Trend Master. Oh, so, okay, okay. but um, what I meant to say is that when um, let me fast forward a little bit. So, all right, so. Yeah, I came across that Voltron from the kid that my mom was babysitting back then, and uh, and then a couple of days later, my friend hits me up on MSN Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> he sends me a link, and he's he shows like, "The age, bro. Like, we we are all in." <laughs> he sends me a link, and this link turns out to be well, eBay. Okay? Oh, wow. okay, so eBay, and then he's like, "Hey, there it is, that toy, the Voltron." And I saw it in the box and everything. I was like, wow, you know. And and this is the beginning of, like, I guess, uh, you know, Amazon, eBay, and the Internet, you know. Mm. So, I mean, it was picking up. It was towards its heyday, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so then that's when I went in, into eBay and I started searching, like, toys. I was very, very, like, blown away. I was like, how does this stuff still exist? Wow thing you know toys from the 80s you know i th- I would think they would be like ex- extinct like gone forever like thrown away and yeah, so that's what I, that's what know, we did there, with our toys right yeah you know, well some of, some of us at least <laughs> from so, there i got hooked and that was God, it what was know? the first uh line or figure that you got i know it, it, for me i've been collecting for like three years and I, i'm struggling to remember which one that i started with but uh do you remember which was the first figure that you 
went back into you know collecting yes um mask oh mask. Mask. like what we got right there mask it was the first uh uh toy it was a lot that i purchased on e in ebay on ebay and uh -huh. um and those were the first that's that's what started it so, and so mask, mask and the voltron so because mask was was one of your favorite lines or oh, because you remember the cartoon or or what was the reasoning why did you get mask mask uh uh it's one of my favorite lines i always liked cars growing up like as a kid mm -hmm. you know vehicles and stuff like that trucks you know uh so for me mask uh, it's uh yeah i would get them as a kid you know for for christmas and oh, okay. birthdays and, and stuff what like i've that. seen is because mask i know i know the last podcast so, we talked when we talked about crossovers uh -huh. this is a good example because mask is almost like a crossover with with transformers right because it's cars but they also transform into like a jet Yes. Or or make them into a motorcycle <coughs> or speedboat or something like okay, that. Okay, okay. I'm not too familiar with mass, but that's what I've noticed about mass that it, you transform it into, like I said, a, a uh, from from a racing car to a, to a jet. Right. Uh, yes. And so, um, yeah, I, well, I mean, that, I'm, that's what I'm seeing. So I I can see what you're saying when it comes to talking about you like uh, collecting cars and things. Cars, like that. vehicles. I've always been. Um, uh, just uh, a fan of a fan of of of, of vehicles. So that, that's cars, what you're yeah. into when you were young. You're into yes, cars. Okay, mm -hmm. cars. I was never really an action figure. Uh, Guys, kind of, this yeah. interview's over. That's it. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, like, no. I got more. You know, later, as later a kid, on. like cars. You know, God, I got like before, before, before we jump into stuff. before we jump into all this. You know, uh, all this good is. Uh, I kind of picked on, on you. You said that that you've been collecting, you know, pretty much all your life, and you all of a sudden started, you know, collecting toys. But what other things did you did you collect, or have you collect, or you still collect? Well, I, I mean, we're talking, I guess, from I don't know, um, elementary. Mm. I mean, I I stopped I stopped getting toys. Uh, um, my parents stopped buying toys <laughs> like around, <laughs> um, I don't know, fourth grade, okay. fifth grade. Mm -hmm. And that's when I would get, I don't know, like maybe like um, like a soccer ball or something like that, oh, yeah, or um, board games, um, mm -hmm. what else? Uh, Leg Lego sets. Those oh, were the Lego. only toys, oh, yeah, okay, that okay. I, that I, that I would still get, you know, through maybe um, junior high. Yeah. Do you, st do you still do you still um, do uh, board games? I mean uh well actually more like puzzles but got no I, I don't i don't really play with puzzles or or oh, some okay, of okay. some I, of the board I, I games i got but. into uh when i started when i started collecting well before i started collecting uh, uh a friend of mine he was you know telling me and, and another friend hey we should we should get into you know this is a nice board game and then i think i remember i think we started with the with it's called pandemic which is very ironic well, during the pandemic, I didn't, I didn't want to play it all, at all. <laughs> but it's a nice board game pandemic. Uh, and then we went into, you know, at least, you know, a good six months or a year of, you know, oh, now let's get another board game, another right. board game. I wish I'd go back. I think I think I'm, I feel like now I'm like I'm thinking that I, I should go back to it. There's so many nice board games. You you, you yeah. really spend the time. I don't know if you if you tried it, if you... If you I mean, I've played a it. couple of board games, but I mean... I mean, besides the popular, you know, everybody has played Monopoly. Everybody has played, you know, the. the well, I, mean, I know I've been to a store that it was full of board games, and I, I guess a lot of people do. It's, no, it's, it's a big, it's, 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 a, yeah, it's a community. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's like it's like the toy community. And, and so that store actually had, in the back, they had you know they had tables. They had tables, mm -hmm. and they had a bunch of people just playing board games. And like they that. have every you know Thursday they will play yes. you know uh, yeah. uh, Dungeons and Dragons, or mm -hmm. Wednesday they will play you know a different. Yeah, I've seen that. And that's I, I stepped right. There's so many nights, nice, yeah. you know. I I, I I can't remember all the board games that, that I play. You know, on the top of my head, on my head, because I wasn't you know thinking about that. But but I remember that the pandemic was the first one that that we were playing. Then we got into into a different other bargains, but it's 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 real. There's there's another one that is highly recommended. It's called Seven Wonders. Man, it's super entertaining, and super fun. You spend you sp you can spend hours there, like with the family, or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. I know we were yeah. more like toy collectors, but but you know, props to the board game community. You know, they, they go they go hard, but it's very very entertaining. Yeah, it, I, I, like I said, I, I've seen that, but I haven't. 
I'm not deep into that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that that one. I think that one's my favorite four game board games so far, like the Seven Wonders. Anyways, uh, let's go back to the to the collecting. So, so I had a question, and I, I picked up what you said. I mean, I, I honestly, I think I don't think you had this happen to you just yet, Yuli, because you, I don't think you really that, you haven't been collecting that mm -hmm. long. But mm -hmm. you said you said Andres that you were collecting and then you stopped. Yeah. And then you started. I, I I did the same thing. I think a lot of people have been collecting for a while. Go through that. So what were you doing? What, what when did you stop? What did you do between that time? And you know, <laughs> well, you know, it's just I guess it's part of kind of growing up. Mm -hmm. Your parents stopped buying you toys and things like that. And for me, it happened like uh, again around fourth, fifth grade. Definitely, um, um, uh, junior high. Like mm -hmm. I was. Getting toys. Uh, the only things I, I would get is like Lego sets or those, uh, you know, um, model kit sets. Yeah. yeah. But like Ninja Turtles or things like that. <clears throat> Transformers, I wasn't. I know no, you're too yeah, big. So for I this. missed uh, the whole Beast Wars kind of thing, Power Rangers, you know. Yeah. I was just, uh, what? Yeah. Well, yeah, I was growing up and <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, yeah. I had no interest. And then you went you back know? after high school, you, like, you started collecting. Yeah. And I definitely, so high school, yeah, I had no you know desire to look uh, and again i did not know these things existed like the toys like you know optimus prime from the oh, 80s you know yeah, although there was a community yeah like i didn't know there were communities or toy shows things like that you know at all i was just uh you know that, that's into a good sport I, I wonder how far back do these communities go that we didn't know about you, you, you see what i'm saying like how far back did people actually start a community and be like in 1984 transformers came out right mm -hmm. Let's start a community that's, from here on out. Like, okay. I wonder if that's something. If it, is, it is far. Not, not because I, I've experienced it, of course, but I've heard stories. Uh, I once was watching a, a, a video, uh, and this guy was buying uh, a figure from this really, really old guy. Mm -hmm. It was at the <laughs> Chicago Toy Show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was kind of like trying to tell the story and all of that and it was like no i remember when the to when the chicago toy show you know it was cool back then and they were like what what are you talking about this is all cool this no all this is new so this guy was calling <laughs> the 80s and 70s new, new stuff. stuff so he was like no and wow. then and if, if you and that's where i knew that the chicago show has been for almost like 40 years or something like that so imagine that it, and they will he said you know they will be collecting things from the 50s from the 40s whatever like not necessarily these figures but you know it's usually uh, like uh, little cars right that's yeah the tonka whatever those tonkas or or, or the 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 the, the matchbox first. matchbox was also uh, i think back then matchbox too, right? yeah matchbox, matchbox goes but uh, back in the late 50s or 60s like that, yeah. matchbox so was, so this guy was talking about those like like no no i remember with the when the show was What's all, what's about vintage right now? It's too new. I'm like, and they were like, you're you're calling the '80s and and, and new the, stuff. The, the new stuff. And like, yeah, yeah, pretty much is new. I'm like, oh wow. So that's that. That kind of tells you. Sorry, of course there was not a lot of communications between communities and all that. Yeah, but but I'm pretty sure those communities. But do you, so do you and, think do you think it started <clears throat> booming more so because now that there's you know Facebook, there's Instagram, there's eBay. Now it, it, people are able to talk about it more because I mean we're all in closed platform. Mm -hmm. yes. we're, all, we're all enclosed, you know, back in those days, and we didn't have that kind of you know technology. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. That, you know, and, and then also the value of things. Yes. You know, back then, you know, you could probably get a transformer for whatever. It, well, how much did they? How much were they when they came out the stores? Maybe like. Like ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could, I guess, pick one of these for so, so fifteen some, bucks or something so like that, or less. Like, you know what? This thing's gonna be worth money. Or let's go to the toy show and send it for the same price. Right. You know, and that's that's what I'm getting at is how, how yeah, you know, now and probably right now I think it's it's you know everybody everybody knows that sells for more than whatever retail. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing by the time that Andres was you know collecting, which is 2001, and those figures that. You know, came out on the eighties or nineties. Mm -hmm. They probably weren't selling higher than retail. If you think about it, they're like, "Oh, I bought this for ten bucks. It's open now. It's uh, give me five. Wouldn't it be the case, maybe. 
I mean, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. What do you think of this? You think? I mean, you've been like I said. How much you well, were buying the first figure? Like, well, like, yeah, what, I mean, what would you, what would you see there? The, is it was it kind of like it, retail price or? No, no. I mean, the, it was. Um, I mean, just tracing back, going back. Yeah, it certainly was um, a lot less than what things are selling now. Yeah. Four, yeah, four. yeah, way, way, a lot less. But no, uh, it was still expensive. Like, like you, for instance, like uh, that Razorback right there. Uh, I don't know retail, maybe like. Uh, Ten, twelve dollars. Yeah, I don't know. It literally has yeah. a price. Yeah, the secret price is fifteen dollars on, yeah. on the box. And I still and think that was a lot, like fifteen bucks yeah. back in the day. That's pretty expensive. And that's, we're mean. talking about like eighty-seven, mm -hmm. I, I believe, right there. Uh, and so, in one um, I think uh, you could pick one of those up for like less than a hundred bucks, maybe uh, a seal, a seal one. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know. Well, yes, I don't as far as I can how remember, much this, goes, yeah. this goes for now. Yeah, uh, I mean that razor back. Really well, <laughs> I mean, okay, well, uh, like for instance, like my um, switchblade and my mass rhino, I picked them up, like in imp almost impeccable condition, mm -hmm. for like uh, two hundred dollars, you know, um, the sealed uh, switchblade and a rhino. Well, the rhino, back, oh, the rhino, that's a yeah. Deal because the rhino, that's that's one. Of, I think that's one of the most iconic pieces from from mass. Mm -hmm. More or less around uh, two hundred dollars, uh, uh, maybe three. But now it's like the mass rhino is like maybe three grand around oh, there. Okay, you know, okay, two that's, grand. That's, so that, that, that's my reaction. Yeah, like because I was like, is it three hundred good or no, bad? Like I, but, I didn't know. That's what I say. That, uh, just the rhino by itself, I already knew that was a really sealed. That's right. a really good price because I seen what they go. I like. I'm not too deep into mass, but I know a little bit about it. To know, like you know, I know some. Some pieces mm -hmm. are, are, are up there. And Rhino, like I said, it's one of the iconic pieces from that in toy line. God, oh, wow. but yeah, it but would be like the Technodrome, I guess, to, to, to Turtles. It's one of the, if you get one sealed in box, you know what those go for. Wow. So, okay. And, you know, I was watching like, uh, you know, a couple months ago, the uh, a video of BotCon, the first one, uh, oh, nine, okay. 94, I believe it was, that was the first BotCon. And yeah, there was... was and, one of those shows. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there was this. I've heard about it. They were going through the booths and the prices and everything, and, and like sealed items and everything. And it's like fifty, a hundred bucks, you know, for the you know, items are now thousands, you know. <laughs> but, but when, when and this was, was like ninety four. Oh, Botcon is uh, like uh, Transformers. It's, like, cause it, it's only happened a couple of times, right? It doesn't happen every year. It's not one of those shows that well, happens. It all started in ninety four. It ran maybe around the early two thousands. Then it. Mm -hmm stopped or and then it turned into like um uh shoot i forgot the name um but it took a break and then it, it came back as another um, show yeah yeah it's the same show but, yeah okay. but under a different um, different name no under different like uh owners i guess oh, yeah okay, or okay, promoters okay. Oh. promoters so yeah i mean i know like i said I, if i'm not mistaken through, uh, through an auction i think uh an 85 an 85 a grade 85 sealed megatron mm -hmm. so for like 32k yeah okay so, so see i was excited in the beginning <laughs> when i saw all of this to start the line all that but now you're talking about those right oh, and, and, and that's not getting into variants and uh mr andres over here has mm -hmm. some variants all right that, uh mm -hmm. So that, that we're gonna get into the Let, that, let's get into into the goodies. All right. So whenever he was he was coming in, uh, we invited Andres, and I'm like, all right. He was like, ah, oh, I can I can bring some some you know some some uh, figures that I have, and so I'm like, all right, some. And now when I came, I started drooling. I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't even know what it was. <laughs> but I'm not. But I don't, cause I, I as you know, yeah. some of you know, some of you don't. Uh, I'm a I'm a I'm, I haven't gotten into into Transformers or or Mask or any uh, any of this cool line. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I love it, but it's so vast. It's so big. Everybody has that, their niche, and I, uh, I'm not deep into Transformers, but I do but like, you, and I yeah. do have Transformers. So I, I you know, you have a few I have in a the few. collection. So you would you say that? Or which which line do you think it's it's your is your you know your favorite? I think my favorite line i mean is the reason why i brought mask and transformers <laughs> okay, okay okay because it's hard for me to I'll, i just love both of them oh, yeah, they're, you they're kind of yeah that's gonna be a tough one but um i'm gonna have to go with with mask mask yes yeah, sur surprisingly well no not really but <laughs> <laughs> no, no no it's okay it's fine sometimes sometimes I, people people like 
assume right away that my favorite is turtles and, mm-hmm. and then it might be you know my top three but i'm always like juggling i'm not like a hundred a hundred percent sure that turtles is my you know as my Your, more complete line mm-hmm. is like i have a lot of them and all that but but i have you know mixed feelings with other lines right yes so, i mean i think it's, it's fine to to not not be we have love for for a lot of a lot of lines other lines yeah so tell us a little bit so, like let's do a little bit of a okay. show and tell uh <laughs> what what do you bring like i, I know optimus prime you know, that's that's as far as my well, knowledge goes <laughs> with Transformers in well, here. Yeah. Actually, well, first of all, looking at this, it seems like I'm my favorite is Transformers. It lo- yeah, it looks like <laughs> <laughs> I only brought two math vehicles and uh, yeah. Well, well, so let me ask you this: yes. what's your what's your high end piece with with mass? Which which one do you have that's your high end piece? I think the highest one, I think, is uh, Switchblade. Switchblade, okay. Switchblade Switch and uh, or Laser Command. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so so Andres knows that I like I don't like mass that like I not that I don't like it but I don't do it. You don't you don't like yeah. But there is one piece that I do want and mm-hmm. I do want it and Andres knows that I want it is that Laser Command. Okay. I I think that is one of the coolest pieces that I've seen. It, it's like ahead of its time the way it works. Okay. And so you can explain it a yeah. more better than I. But when I first seen it, I, I was like, "Wow!" Like, Ex- explain well, it to I me like I'm five, here. like I'm five year old, because I don't know. Well, I didn't bring it, and I sh- I should have, but no. Nah, but yeah. you, you're just still in the box, isn't it? Well, yeah, I have a sealed one and a loose one. Oh, but I'm gonna have to talk to you. Uh, this, uh, okay. Okay. okay, okay. And uh, no, I mean it's a it's a. I know some of collectors consider it kind of like. Uh, Oh, it's not a it's not a place it's still a vehicle but um so it just uh it, it operates it just kind of it, it, it it's supposed to explode you know that's you know uh mm-hmm. it, it, like, it, it, it just so breaks up apart with the radio with the radio yeah, so, wave so pretty yeah. much it's called laser command yeah. because so it, it's two items in one mm-hmm. box you have it's like a truck it's a truck, and, and then yeah. it looks like a crate and that crate mm-hmm. remember we talked about like transformer that crate turns into like a like a jet or a plane mm-hmm. or something so it's battery operated both of them okay so what it is is you enter you know the the crate turns into a plane one out or a jet and it has a little laser piece on it mm-hmm. so it, it the, the 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 truck has like a little a little black i guess that it the, when they enter lock mm-hmm. it makes the little van blow up the yes. tire so it's like yeah. if you were like playing with the plane yeah. and then yeah. shooting the truck and they expl- yeah. oh wow yes. if the tire pops off the the the, 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 the hood, hood the, uh, it, the doors man it, just look it up on, i think i've i think i've seen it somewhere awesome, yeah. but you know like like i since i don't i don't and i, I don't get know. excited because just thinking about it i've <laughs> seen it I, like I, I even youtube like man I, I, i'm scared i'm scared of this of this episode because <laughs> i feel like i might have you know i'm gonna You're go gonna, after uh, uh, some pieces because i'm i'm literally learning so no, another I'm, rabbit I'm hole very talk, like I, you know, outspoken, <laughs> uh-huh. but I'm lost in this. But I'm learning, so yeah. bear with me, yeah. guys. I'm learning, no, no, that's, and I like this. That's the whole point. And so, like I said, when it comes to mask, I don't. But I know when I seen that piece, mm-hmm. I, I, man, I was like, wow. You have the, the, like I said, the tire popped off, the door came off, the hood went up, and the the truck like went in half. Like, and, <laughs> and that's just when the, like I said, the laser interlock. So you have yeah. to make sure you like flying. Like you're supposed to be flying. Why, why do you have to describe the the, the, the most <laughs> expensive one to me? Now, <laughs> why don't you say, oh look, this little bomb. One of the most expensive ones, but if, if it was sealed grade, yes, it, it would be. But oh, yeah. that is one of the. I think one of the. the yeah. Well, also even the, a, a loose, even in loose condition, it's just, it's up it's still, there. Still, still yeah, because you're talking right. about like in uh, a complete one. Uh, easily you're gonna have to drop five bills you know okay. a complete no, one and i think i think you're being very generous <laughs> well you know I've seen not a, considering honestly, condition just, yeah just the truck itself i've seen it so like wrong. 700 yeah. maybe oh, wow. okay, okay. so we're definitely gonna talk after this because <laughs> i like your part. all right so he's 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 in my he's my in my box yeah, so i'll talk i have yeah i got dibs now all right so talk to me about about um this piece is, I would like to start with, you know, say something, but I'm, I'm well, not, I don't know which one's weird, rare, rare, or what, what do you, what do you bring? What, what, well, again, going, uh, going back to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, when I started, um, with the collecting again in 01, I immediately, I started buying a lot of masks. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I started, you know, I was I started with loose items, and when I started seeing auctions with sealed items, and 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 I guess uh, talking about like sealed and loose. At, from the very beginning, when I started, you know, finding sealed items, I had to jump on those immediately. Yeah. I don't know. For me, it was like um, you're more of a seal. Like again, because I, I was, uh, I was so amazed that these things like still existed. So finding a, like a sealed, sealed example, you know, I was like, what is this doing? Yeah, still sealed, you know. So, you, so and, you're a collector that you, you don't I, mind what the you don't you don't care because you know there's collectors yeah. that, that like to put their hands on it. They like to actually touch the figure. Yeah, and, and I'm one of those two. <laughs> like, yeah. I got to have the loose one, and I have to... Oh, so you're a maniac like him, huh? Yeah, have a yeah. sealed one. And, <laughs> and that's it. Because I feel like it's a little bit of... On my favorite worlds. lines only. On my favorite yeah, yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, I feel like, as a collector, I like to, 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 to display the figures. I like to kind of like play around with the, with the loose figures. I consider myself a loose figure collector. But uh, but no, but like like if you see the the majority, like ninety percent is is loose, but but there's this part in 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 my in myself that that wants to preserve, kind of like the harder to find figures. So those are the ones that I look after, you know, to have seal or mock, yeah, I, 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 the, high, the high ends yeah. and and mostly on figures, right? So I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. you have to see to me. For me to make sense, and I'm not saying that it doesn't make sense to other people, like right, it's just personal opinion. I have to see the figure, like right. So it has to go yes. through. It has to have a, 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 a bubble or something where I can see the figure for me to buy it sealed. Uh, with all the respect, of mm -hmm. course. But like something like this, like you can you can see the figure. I wouldn't mind this sealed. Okay. And that's the cool thing about Transformers. That, that you can window, you can right? well, most transformers you can see the, yeah, the because they have the window the bubble inside and, and, but and again as like, like with to, all the respect you know i know this is not sealed but this is this is that box mm -hmm. but but for me to have a, a toy uh on his box i mean i know the the art is pff, look at yeah. that like it's super beautiful the art was amazing the art is amazing and all that yeah, it, it, it's because they don't make them like emote I they think don't the make toys like, like they used to is yeah, you know, I, I me, agree with me, you. Me, my personal, I think Moto yeah. has the best, the 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 best yes. uh, art. art I, right. Man, they, whoever whoever designed, I think they did a hell of a job. Um, they put a lot of effort into it. I think Transformers too. Like, look look at this, man. This is no, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. it's like, I'm looking at the back. It's just at the back. This is I don't know, you know, which camera, but but. Looking at the bag, it's no, no, and it's no, and like I said, back in those, back in, I don't know, they just like to say they don't make toys like these. They don't. They, they, they just don't. simply don't. So, you know? and so these were toys. I mean, these were these were not for adults. I mean, it was man. And that's that's another question. So when it came, just like we talked about earlier, when it came, when it comes to Transformers, like for them to last, you know, through the through the years, the decades of of play where and some of them that are still intact. And find them like in good, pristine condition. It's I think that's why Transformers is it's so hard to. The value of these things are up. especially complete. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah because you know it, they all have moving parts. When it has more moving parts, I think I think it's more adamant for them to break. So, yeah, of course. Especially yeah. they get after a couple of years, they can like get and stuck, and when you're trying to transform it, it will yeah. pop. And all the accessories and everything. Yeah. You're trying to complete a. A transformer is sometimes it's oh, challenging, yeah. yeah cause... Combine them too, and oh, and they, 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 they were smart. Hasbro was really smart when, when it came to, because then you do combiners like I know we have a, a devastator back there. Um, that was that was a casually, yeah, casually. Yeah, they just have a devastator back <laughs> there, just a sealed graded devastator right there. You know, it's really <laughs> we'll, we'll just put it in the bag, <laughs> you know. All right, you said something that kind of resonated and then <laughs> just kind of like sparked the question are the toys you said they don't they don't do toys like they used to right yeah but that's my opinion it's one of no no, no mine too i think a lot of us a lot but of us. what i'm what i'm going to with this question is I don't know how to say it without offend anybody or without <laughs> no, you being say, rude or say me. how it is. And, uh, <laughs> People already hate for, you. For, <laughs> for the newer generation, especially, do they think they they like they, they nerf the 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 the, the, the quality? You mean not the quality? Or? All right. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. So, Transformers. Mm -hmm. They're not easy just to transform. No, I mean some are. Some are uh, uh, are Saint Seiya. Yeah. They're not easy to put together. You can't even look at them because they're gonna break. Not only that, it's it's hard <laughs> yeah. to put them together. Like you have to put the, the armor on, and then you can display the the spirit animal. You will just to put it apart and put it on on, on like just on display as. A, they are hard as me right now. If I don't have the instructions, I don't think I will be able to to transform any of the transformers like without. And I feel the same way. I feel so, the so same way. That's like, what I'm saying. Like I, I want to. My question uh, that I want to say like, did they dumb, dumb it down? Dumb it down the the, the, I the don't, toys. The, the, like today's, to, today's toys. Yeah. No, but I, you think I, you think? Oh wait, well, if they, they the dumb thing. it down like to, to for today, like is it easier like? Do they do the newer figures have the same structure or or or, or complexity? That's that's the word. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing: um, the toys are most of these toys. I think I mean they're being made for adults. They're more complex. There's more engineering involved uh, than you know this Blitzwing. You know. No, but uh, I'm so, talking about the toys that are targeted to the kids. Like oh this yes, exactly. This, that's these toys were targeted for the kids to whenever when we yeah, were kids for the kids. That's what I'm saying. They like the, the same age. Like okay, so what what age does it, does this one says? Uh, does it, does it come with an age or not? Well, yes, it's somewhere around. Uh, mm, but I don't know. Right there. Is that is. It's in Spanish because so, it's so six years. Okay, so this is six six years. Say Sanya. This is for yeah. six years. Uh, so it was targeted to, to six years. I'm 39. And if you don't give me the instructions, I don't think I will be able to transform. I, I think I think that that's a lot of us. I, I, I I'm the same way. I'm exactly. Well, the same that's way. what I'm saying. Like, will they do toys like with this complexity I, for a no, kid of six years I've, right now? I've seen your transformers that don't have the well, complexities and, and like that. I have it. Mm -hmm. I've seen new transformers that they you just you know swap. A you, you, right. so you have to be very careful. Back in the days, you have to be very not only careful, you know, to not break, but also to take care of them and all that. Like, I think. All of that also taught us responsibility and mm -hmm. how to be careful with stuff. And uh, or you could just or break it until your mom yeah. buy a new one. That's true. <laughs> that too. But I don't know. What do you, What do you think? Do you think they they or uh, do you know any like newer yeah. toys for kids, not for adults? I mean, I can't really think. I mean, because every time I go to the Target, I just look for the eighty six. For the, <laughs> for the, the, for the uh, Studio eighty six. Are the issues the same? complexity yeah it's just you know, so they're almost the same the reissues but again they're meant for they're for targeted us. To, to, yeah. to us to the adults so, that mm -hmm. yeah so you're saying like um the toys are actually made for kids uh nowadays do they have the same is complexity. It as complexity uh um uh, you know good question i haven't really looked into that i don't like, think very, so i have like, two daughters yeah and i don't know you have kids too I mean, like I said, right now everything's Funkos. And yeah. and it, no, but I I bought a couple of figures, you know, from from my girls, and then just like they have like you know accessories and all that, but they were like just very plastic, and then just okay, like so, just put it put it on top of it, like it's just. But that's what I'm saying. So going back to the 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 laser command, I was talking, like, like you know, that's I I mean I'm not gonna say they don't they don't make toys like that nowadays, but they really don't, you know, like that's no that, every, that, all, everything that's put into them from the art. The box and you know the, the engineering, the, photos, the, the engineering, engineering, like and the, the engineering and all that. The storylines, the cartoons that were released to you know pump the the yeah, sales yeah. back then. You know all the it was yeah, it was like big business back then, and uh, it's just unfortunate it's not the same anymore. I mean mm -hmm. with with uh, toys that are meant for kids. You know. And yeah, I really, least, I really think that. Like I said, I didn't want to use that the word, you know, down, but 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 I think they 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 tone it down for I sure. Tone it like, down, or it's either that, or they don't want to spend too much ingenuity or too much engineering in a toy that at the end of the day the kid is gonna buy, the kid is gonna play, the kid is mm -hmm. gonna throw it away. Like I think you're gonna pay engineers too much because this is definitely built by engineers. Yeah, like people like this is not just anybody that put. No, this is people like so nowadays if you think that if you know that the kids still gonna buy it and want it, uh why would you put so much complexity on it? So I don't know if they just dumb it down or they lazy they became lazier, you I, know. Honestly or, I think everything nowadays becomes cost efficient. Cost efficient yeah, that's what I say. But and I, okay, now we're we're specifically talking 
uh, for, for toys for the kids, right? So the, the same one that when we were a kid, you know, we know like they put a lot of effort on doing collectibles for us, like right. newer and all that. So that that we, that I know that you know, they, they like 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 Playmates. I know I know Playmates is 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 known for this, but even like they used uh, the same accessories for Turtles in other toy lines that Playmates. Oh, did. okay. So they just used a different color, mm -hmm. but it's ex the exact same mold. Is so I I know a lot of it has to do with uh with with you know. <clears throat> The, the, you the, know, the, cost, value, yeah. the cost to, to make the figure mm -hmm. itself. Yeah, they mix also, um, there's a couple of vehicles yeah, and, that has uh, Toxic Crusaders. Yes. And, 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 and like I said, Playmates, they're no, I've, I've seen that vehicles, vehicles, uh, action figures, not not so much action figures, but um, like a sex series. I know um, Kenner, like we talked about the Batman, the Shadow Wing, they use the same type of mold and the mm -hmm. same function as. Um, as Silverhawks. Okay, okay. So I, I think back then they tried to use, uh, try to be more cost efficient. I, I don't know. Nowadays, you know, everything is, is pretty much, and it, it's the same industry. It's about money. So mm -hmm. I, I think that maybe they dumb it down a little bit mm -hmm. to save some money. That, that's, that's what I'm thinking that that's, because I do agree with that. I, I, like we said, maybe... I, I think nowadays we talk, we all say the same thing. They don't make toys like they used to. Yeah. Maybe y'all can leave it for the next podcast. <laughs> maybe go Check out what are the uh, toy lines for, are for kids. Oh, I, I can't think of any right now. No, but no, no, yeah. And, and even though I have kids, that, that you know, would be kids fun. That would be interesting. Kids, kids nowadays, they will prefer the uh, the phone. No, the, oh, the phone. Yeah, no, but they, yeah, Roblox for for their for the digital world and Roblox yeah, or whatever, yeah. rather than. So, again, uh, uh, let's go back to the pieces that you got. Like, which is you know the the the, the like like what are we looking at? Like, well. Like this one, what what is this? Oh, it's, uh, this is graded. It's graded. Uh, br yeah, I brought a couple, just uh, some of my favorite Transformers. And that's a beautiful um, piece. Of course, this is Devastator and Andres. You could uh, explain right, to so us. This is uh, the mighty uh, Devastator. Uh, it's graded. It's got a UKG grade of 80% wow. right there. And uh, it's... Uh, it was it's, it was supposed to be sealed, but it, the tape dried out. Oh, you know? go, 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 but it's go. never been open. It's never been open. Yeah, it, it, it's that's hard. That's yeah, hard so it's I, it's still untouched. Like it's never been open, but it dried out being graded. It's yeah, of, I can tell. Um, right yeah, there, I've um, seen I've seen that happen before to 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 in 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 some stores when you when you go there like yeah it was sealed, mm -hmm. it just the 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 the, the tape just gave up. So did you buy this, did you buy this one uh graded or do you, you grade I it bought it same? like it is graded yeah um yeah, it really is i mean like you said well, the artwork, i think it was a part <laughs> it was a partial trade and purchase yeah, yeah kind of deal i I feel, I feel like oh. i wouldn't mind like oh, here we go no no no, no. <laughs> when when i talk about seal i wouldn't mind something like this cuz oh, no, i thought, you, I, thought you guys, I wouldn't mind having one of these mm -hmm. oh well i wouldn't either like if we're a good price, like i wouldn't no, 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 but but like, like going back to what I was saying, like like if you think about it, right? So you mm -hmm. can still see the yeah, figures. That's so, what you're that's and what I would rather yeah. to display something like this. Like you can see all the figures with the artwork. I think this is a perfect, perfect display to 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 have it sealed. I wouldn't mind something mm -hmm. like this, yeah, right? Sure. So, so if I collect loose, but I want to also display display with this box. Mm -hmm. That, 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 that'll be the ultimate for if me. If I'm not mistaken, they also made them individually in, in their card yeah, and too. Yeah. Oh. So this this is this is the... The gift it? set? The gift set. There yeah, you go. This set. is the gift set right here. And I know yeah. this one's a lot more uh, desirable. What a nice gift. <laughs> <laughs> sure was. And sure then, was. I believe they made the... Uh, it, not, is it, would they consider G2? They made the orange ones, but it was like a KB exclusive or something like that. Yeah, those were um, Generation 2. Yeah, The, G2, the yellow yeah. ones, orange... See, I'm, is, I'm a little, I'm a, I know you know a little bit of Transformers, yeah. but I mean, uh, you know, like when you go hardcore into it, then, then that's when, you know, I'm going to just stay, stay back and let, you know, the professionals, you, uh, you know, the, uh, say what it is. But I, I'm familiar with this, with some, this line as well, but not as but not, much. And I think on this, you know, a little bit more, because everybody that, that I talk to, when it comes to Transformers, they tell me, go to Andres. <laughs> he, wow. he's the guy he has some pieces that well, that you will not see and i think people that know transformers are freaking out right now 
I, I, I wish I would have I would have known a little bit a little more. Or Honestly, just, I, I I think it's gonna be one of my next uh, uh, task, not to get into, but to learn more about about transforming. And, and, and I guarantee, you, if you start looking into it. You're gonna want to get. I feel like at some point, regardless, yeah. honestly, and this is not because you know he's here. Or like, no, at some point, I wanted to get like the basic, like, but that's where I'm scared. The like, basic, so that, like, like the the, the first the, line, the, the, not even no, the, the 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 because the G one is like yeah uh, a lot, but what I, what I mean by that is like the basic, like the most common like figures, like. The, the most, most common the, ones, the mo most common characters, not not yeah. not figures. The most common characters, we're talking about okay. Megatron, uh, okay. Optimus Prime, your, your popular Bumblebee, ones, popular like the more, ones, the more, the more the one, uh, exactly iconic. I guess, exactly. Or, so, to me, but that's where I get scared. Get the leaders Be because that's what <laughs> I said about turtles. I'm only like, I'm only gonna get the four turtles and a couple of other yeah, figures. Yeah, it's and then look, look where we ended but, up. But the thing about you is, is I think you collect like I do too. Um, like G.I. Joe's. You know when you got into G.I. Joe's, you were like, I can't collect them all. Mm -hmm. And and me and you had what the I same idea. To. Yeah. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, you just had the same idea of I'ma collect the, the, the groups. And that's what I said, that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it came to Turtle Suit, you wanna collect the lines that you want, you weren't gonna there's it's them there's it's impossible, man. Yeah. I mean, like we talked about this last time. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the best way. I mean, like the G ones. The G ones, I mean they made how, how many G1s do you think for the iconic? How many? It, I mean, it's not that uh, many, but I'm not going to say it's, it's, it's a little bit either. Let's stick to 1984. Okay. 19, 1984. Just start right there and you stop can probably <laughs> stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go any further. That's scary. Yeah. Well, you want to scare them? Go, go with the, what, what year was the Diet Clones? What, what year was that? The, no, uh, when 1984 was the first, the first. So Micro Changes was 1984 as well? No, well, no, that's, now you're talking about the pre-Transformers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like, I, I the know Micro part, Change, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. you know. Before Diaclone, they actually were named Yeah, before Transformers they were named, were named yeah, branded Transformers, but. Okay, so I, I don't know much about it, but I know that, right? So because I, I watch a documentary, right? So and that, you know what? <laughs> no, they, yeah, they, they used to have it uh, in Japan. They will just, you know, there will be a lot, like a bunch of random different, uh, uh, like, figures that will transform. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, is it Hasbro? Hasbro, yeah. yeah. So Hasbro saw that, and they were like, all right, just bought all the licensing for those figures and, like, put him on a blender and like, all right, make a story about this. And yeah. then there's a guy that like, he was telling, you know, he's starting all that. Like, all right, so I have to name them. I have to create a background story about, I have to, yeah. to do like, and he started like doing all the file cards. Like for, he, I think he took like about a, one, he did it all in one night. He was oh, writing, it was yeah. like, a, it was a, like, you have to come up with this like in one week. So he has to come up with names. He had the figure. Now he had to come up with the name. The backstory, who's the leader, oh, what does he do, what is what is the backstory and all that. See, so he, he goes through everything. They put all these figures on his table. Like, I was like writing. So this is going to be this, this is going to be his name. This is going to be that. It's going to be that. And that's amazing, right? So, but but yeah, I, I know that pre, like pre Transformers, there was uh, what, what what were they called? Di Diaclone or well, like, yeah, the, the Diaclone micro change. You know, from and, and these were lines from Japan. You know, they were making this this uh, toys that have never been seen here in the states, and then Hasbro just uh, uh, they found them, I guess, interested, and they thought there was some something to be made, and, and uh, they did it. God, <laughs> the rest God of the story, yeah. Were they right? Yeah. Uh, no, I I think I want to do. I want to get like you know a few figures, but I'm, that's where I get scared. Like. No, I don't want. How about this? I'll get you a catalog next time I see you. I'm gonna give you a 1984 catalog. <laughs> he, he, he. And he's then, a, and then he's a good seller too. He's a good seller. But no, yeah, that that'll be you cool. You can that, check mark. They they come with the cool. little check mark box. No. so you, you it, keep it, in track of what. That'll be cool. I'll, yeah, I'll and, take that. And I'll since you it. like box, you can get them all sealed. No, all no, no, no. <laughs> I like these boxes though. But I don't think I will go that hardcore. You know, uh, I've seen that Megatron in the. I, there was this guy on I don't know I'm pretty sure you know him. He was on the shows. He had a, a Megatron graded, the beautiful piece. I don't know. I don't remember the name of, but it was it was one of the shows that that I that I've seen you guys. In. Okay. He had a Megatron graded like seal. It was beautiful. Yeah. I wonder if it was a, the qualify. I wonder if it was a Nemo. Probably. Oh, 
What's his name? I don't, I don't know. Because he's the only one I know that would take a Megatron that's graded, but I, I think it yeah. was a, the qualified. Um, oh, okay. The blue, yeah, label. The blue, blue yeah. name. Yeah. It probably was that one because. I don't know anybody that has. Ah, well, I don't know. It was, it was, yeah. yeah. I, I just seen that, and I, I, again, I don't know much about it, yeah. but it was, it was, it was awesome. Um, All right, let's so talk about get, variants. Variants. Uh, I, I see you have this. Yeah, uh, what is it, Iga? Is it, well, yeah, most of these Transformers, except for Prime, they're, uh, they're um, from other uh, countries. countries, like the Iga is from or IGA, uh, Mexico, okay. and Ruby Plus, uh, Venezuela. And um, and that's what I have here. I have these examples here. Um, so with the rarity of these, yeah, are these a lot harder to get than the American, or or what's what's? Yeah, the... certainly it's just more difficult. Yeah, so it's already very, very hard difficult. to find. It's very so hard to find. No, still mock. I mean, they're out there, but you know, the, the surviving uh, quantities are very mm -hmm. low. And the box is looking really yeah. good condition too. This right? one actually, this one has never been taken out. It's. You can say it's sealed. It's the bubble sealed, but the tape broke from that end. Um, this one. I think. I think that was the, one of the things about. I uh, uh, think about Transformers is the the seals on these things. The tape didn't didn't hold too good. Like I know. Turtles, no, actually, I mean, they did. They they held. They hold pretty well still. I mean. I mean, because I seen a lot of I, not I, not on the Ega. The Egas are very fragile. The the, the tape the, is very the, brittle. Yeah, it's brittle. Okay. But on the actual Hasbro ones, they they. Can hold pretty well, I pretty think. Yeah. How, how many Transformers do you have in your collection? Like, you know, do, do, I have okay, a lot well, of Transformers. Your, <laughs> does your mask and your and your Transformers do they weigh out, or which? One well, it was more? a much uh, uh, shorter line. The mask Transformers. I mean, it goes like from like eighty four to early nineties, ninety one, ninety two for Generation One, mm -hmm. and then it continues with Generation Two, but. Like my goal, uh, when I started collecting Transformers, um, uh, back then, you know, I wanted every single Transformer that came out in the U.S. The whole like, cause, cause I would go by the catalogs, the '84 catalog, '85, '86, and and I still have uh, uh the catalogs and and uh, so my main thing was to come get every single of the uh character Transformer loose. They it didn't necessarily have to be sealed. But just have it, have it all like how you have your Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Just have every single one that came out in the U.S. only, uh, at least. Uh, but then you but started it's with, been with expanding to to variants. You know, like um, uh, the the Mexican ones, like uh, IGA or Iga, um, and then I just uh, from there when I discovered uh, IGA, um, but that became my the main thing that I started collecting oh. that i wanted to st stick to mm -hmm. the, the mexican variants and that's because uh, those are the ones that i, I they bought uh, as a kid you my parents i got the optimus prime i got the the iga but little did i know um uh, i guess uh, i'm talking about like maybe 2010 2012 like i had no idea about these variants you know until i came out uh, came across a video um that it it was a uh, mad hunter you know mm -hmm, his yeah. video on the iga and from there i was i fell in love with yeah, the, <laughs> with the yeah, iga yeah. variants wow. you know because that's what i got as a kid um you know when i found my old toys uh back then like uh like 10 years ago mm -hmm. uh, i went back to mexico and i found my toys and um I cool, know. so you still, you still have yes i still have oh, my wow. my prime when i was like four or five years old oh, that's awesome oh, wow. man. um so and I looked at the stamping and everything, and I noticed, oh, hey, this is different, you know, something's different from mine and the one that I had, you know, my Hasbro one, yeah. and and then I came across uh, the video, Matt Hunter's video on IGA, and uh, and I was from there, I was like, I gotta have all the IGA, <laughs> you See, know. That's, that's what I get. I, I gotta give props to, to you know to all the, those people that actually became you know way before us, you know, yeah. like Matt Hunter, yeah. At Pelon and oh, all, yeah. all that, so I feel like I've learned a lot from yes, then. A lot. Y you really, you know, I I don't know. It's just I I get inspired. I get that's where I know new I, lines. I think, I think sometimes what happens is you get passionate more so because you can read about it and things like that. But once you start seeing you it, like see like it. I said, like the laser command, mm -hmm. you know, I I I know what it did, but I never really seen what it did until I actually seen it. On a video or a person? On a, on a, no, on a video? Not, yeah, on a video. 
And I was like, man, that that's awesome. But you know, like like you said, sometimes the, these uh these guys that actually travel, yeah, yeah. and go they have more from, opportunities. You know, they have better opportunities to to look at things and they sh- and they share it with us. You know, that's, that's pretty, that, cool. and that, that's yeah. what's awesome. And I mean, that's that's what happens is people like that. They we give us visions and be like, man, you know, I want, to, I would like to collect that, or that's something that's that's you know, yeah. And so they like egos now. Now you got some egos, and that, I call them egos. I don't know if people call them IGAs, mm. but I mean, when like I said, I'm not too familiar with transformers, but I know when it comes to IGAs, those things are very desirable. Mm. People, people, yeah. Some, some of, some of like the proud, the um, it's probably one of the most uh, sought after. Yeah, sought after, desirable. And very expensive is the uh, the uh, prow, yeah, the the cop, you know. Uh-huh. It's in the Mexican one. You know, everything's in Spanish. It's patrulla, oh, the caminos, okay, yeah, yeah. and oh. and the material and stickers, the quality. Um, there's just very cool variations, and with the mini bots as well. Mm-hmm. You know, different colors. Bumblebee, you have like like a whole rainbow <laughs> <laughs> of colors, <laughs> of colors. Yeah. So, so on on those, does the color make it co- a, a cost difference is there any more oh yeah yeah i mean i i the i think the most like with bumblebee the most expensive one would be or valuable would be the silver the silver okay. bumblebee by iga mm. i wow. think and it's it's quite difficult as well to, to find them yeah the silver one the silver ones and for um a cliff jumper as well. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm I mean, just, I'm just in an awe right now. Yeah. Like, it's a whole I've, I've, of course, I've, hole. I've seen, I've seen, you know, the Optimus Prime before. Uh, I don't think I've seen it this close. Cause I, I, I try to, every time that I see them on shows, okay. like Transformers, I just, oh, I don't collect Transformers. And honestly, I'm, okay. Let me, do you tell yourself that? It's like, I don't, I don't, collect I, it cause you don't, I want, you don't want to. No, to. I have to, I have to. No. I, I, I would that, love to. No, but I'm saying, do you say that so you can convince yourself? That you yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to say that. <laughs> uh, 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 because I, I know, like, don't think that I don't collect Transformers because I don't like it. And I've said, I've said this so many times. I said the same thing about G.I. Joe. I didn't want to get into it. Mm-hmm. No, because I didn't like it. It's just because how big mm-hmm. and how vast the line is. I... I got into G.I. Joe's. I just got the flag and the, yeah. everything. Like, it was just, yeah, it got out of control. I know that that's why I have to, like, hold back. Hold back. <laughs> I need to take a break, man. So so I, I, I'm i still haunting. I, I'm doing, you know, I, I was doing Star Wars. I feel like I'm, I'm done with, with at least the, the, I completed all the figures of uh, Star Wars. You want it on your... Well, what was the whole vintage figures? Mm-hmm. All the all the line, all, uh, not the big ones, no variants, but, but, I have a complete line yeah. of Star Wars. And all right, so I could see the end of the, you know, it was not that far, so I, I just finished that one. But I don't think I, I want to get into Transformers right now. Hopefully next year or the year after, right? So, but I think at some point I have to line up <laughs> Transformers and I will. But yeah. uh, I'm just scared. I'm, I'm, it's, it just it scares me. It truly does. Yeah, it's just. I I must start with mass. I think mass is a little bit shorter mass. line, right? Well, you you, you, I... you said to me that you like action figures, and the cool thing about mask it comes with like almost with those little bitty like action Dino figures. Riders. Yeah, Got it's it, almost yeah. like Dino Riders. Yeah. Um, I know, you know, throughout the years, people have said uh, collectors, you know, uh, mass is kind of like merging Transformers and GI Joe. Oh, you know, it's like. A, yeah, it hybrid. Kinda, I don't kind of yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. As, as sort of, you know, you gotta. Perfect example right here. You see? Mm-hmm. That's Condor. Condor? Condor. And that one over there, that's Razorback, is the same driver. Uh, oh, you, know, you, you, can, you can... His name's uh, Brad Turner, but this is the uh, the his original uh, vehicle, which is this motor, motorcycle. Mm-hmm. And then his second vehicle is that one, the uh, Razorback on, on the... There's racing series. So yeah. did you watch the TV show? The, the, oh yeah, the in Mexico. Yeah, in Spanish. Same thing with the Transformers. And... That one I don't. I don't. No. I don't. And Transformers. You don't remember? No, I I remember Transformers. Yes, and the ones that I remember a little bit more it was uh, Beast Wars. Beast I was Wars, I was yeah. a little bit you know older 
It's cool, but but I remember like it was kind of like the last. You know, the, the, Beast Wars because Beast Wars more like that's when they started coming out like three dimensional. 3D, yeah, yeah three D. Like, when I was a kid, I, I already thought it was like kind of like like ah, this is not that great quality. <laughs> Man, I just went back like not too long ago. Oh, let me let me watch a, a like you know a, a small episode, yeah. uh, and I'm like I don't remember it was this bad <laughs> of a 3D. Uh, I don't remember because at the time it was 3D. I thought it was pretty. cool. It was pretty cool yeah. back then. It was pretty yeah. cool, uh, but I watched like ha- like couple minutes of uh, an episode recently on YouTube. I'm like, I, was like, I truly it was don't remember, like it was this bad. Like like. But I guess at the time it was, you know, yeah. it, at the time I, I remember it was pretty cool. But Transformers, I remember why I watched Transformers a lot too. Transformers, I, uh, Megatron, I, yeah. I, I was, yeah, I, for some, I, I, I always liked the bad guys. I remember, I, oh, yeah. I, I always liked the bad guys. Uh, Soundwave, oh, and just hearing them talk, like, yeah, hey, it sounds so badass, dude. You know I mean, so, I mean, th- th- like try. I said, I do have some some Transformers, and and I don't have all of them. I, a matter of fact, I think I have a few. Um, Mini bots, but I think I'm still. I'm, I don't even know if I have a bumblebee. Mm. Oh, okay. But you know, then you have your pre rub. You know, you have. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Transformers, you have your pre rubs, and those are the ones that I go after. Cause those are like the first ones you yeah. want. Like say the ten backs, yeah, the yeah, turtles. Yeah. yeah. You want the pre rubs because the pre rubs is, is is the first one that came out. So the early early ones. Yeah. yeah. Without the yeah the rub sign, mm-hmm. I don't have one. No. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of these pieces might stay here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe uh, so, uh, so uh, can you tell us about this mini bot right here? On this? That mini bot is Gears. Um, that is by Ruby Plus and from Venezuela. Mm-hmm. And it's um, uh, you know, I got it. I, or maybe like two, three years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, it's supposed to be. Maybe like when I posted it in in the in a group, um, and on the seller that I got it from, uh, it, and it was uh, the eBay description. He said uh, that it has never been seen before or anything like that. He he thinks it could be the only example. Oh wow! And that's what as far as the okay. description goes. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> okay, hey, put it back. So the description, what I recall, it, that's what it, and when I was messaging with the seller, it was very quick because it was a buy now and I had to do something immediately. So, so I couldn't so really waste a lot of time. So you've never seen that before yeah. anywhere else you? Well, you actually, personally. actually the description said that it's an example that has never been seen, that he's never seen a, uh, a gear sealed or anything like that. And so I just clicked buy it now. I took, I risked it, you know, mm-hmm. and then after I bought it, then I started you know, so you research. know, messaging back and forth with the seller, and he told me uh, a little bit about it that it was just um, inside a box for many years, and it, it was part of a a local corner store or something like that, you know, and that he had more and sold them all and this and that, and but I've never seen uh, an example of gears uh, sealed and yet. So, so um, when you, when you it, in- it'll be nice if there's more out there, you know, just to you know. So yeah. when you posted in, in the in the Facebook group in that one group, uh, what what did they tell you? What was the response to that? Wow, they were wow. You know, they were. They didn't, they, I mean, because I mean, you have a lot of people that that, that are hardcore into. If so especially if, you, if if it's in that group, specializing yeah, yeah. that, you would think they would know somebody. Would, so nobody. No, even... I think. Uh, I mean, I would have to trace back uh, the post. Uh, but uh, yeah, they were pretty pretty amazed. Wow, of, so. of, of this. <laughs> I'm scared now. Earlier, he had it on a on a on a. Yeah, I need to a, give. I've been thinking yeah, about yeah. getting it graded, but not so much for the grade because it's not in the best condition. It's just just to keep it. Uh, it's, with yeah, it's almost like like we talked about some of the Star Wars. Like kind of like verified, you know, because, and I would, I don't know. People kept asking me, "Is it really really sealed? I mean, c- can you tell if it has been maybe resealed or anything like that?" I'm like. Honestly, you it wouldn't know, matter because it still is in the card back. Well, I mean, I mean, would, it, to me, I mean, no. just close inspection. You know, it's. I'm looking at it. I see yeah, if I know. I see if I know. There's no. I see there's the greater. No, mm-hmm. There's no signs that it was like. Uh, no. Like, you know, ever like uh, you know. No, because uh, yeah, with things like this, I mean, you, you could tell right away when something's been tampered mm-hmm. with, and yeah, the, and the the card, the bubble and, still looks intact. And just the quality of the bubbles from like like iga or ruby plus or or the uh play playful 
Well, actually, who? Uh, it's uh, in Argentina. Antex, Antex yes. Not play. <laughs> I mean, the quality of the blister, it's, you know, it's not all, yeah, all I there. Ha- so I, have, I have an Antex one. one. I actually have one. Antex. And the, the bubble, I know the car's a little bent, but the bubble came off pretty clean on one little area. Mm-hmm. But it's because, like you said, the quality. No, yeah. but quality I, I'd, I'd, I'd say no matter the 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 condition of the, this type of figure, like you should. I mean, I, I will I will I will get it graded. Like, this is one of the pieces that or, just or to it, preserve. Or, yeah, yeah, to preserve it. Or like I said, you know, I would at least put it. In, we can open it right print. now. Yeah. We yeah. want to rip it. We can do a rip. Nah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I thought about you know getting a grade again. Not so much for the grade uh, in. You know, a lot of no, my stuff, but toys to are not grading. So, so, but your purpose is, is to so verify, verify yeah, is, or oh, okay, yes. And that, that, I that mean, makes, for, to me, like I know one hundred percent does completely factory seal. So you haven't done you it know, because are you nervous to do that? No, just I haven't really yeah. given it the chance to send things out to get graded. You know, I mean this this particular figure here and or my personal collection, like my personal collection, except for the Devastator one that I bought it graded, but I still haven't taken that step to to grade right. all my collection. I would like to, mm-hmm. you no, know. But that's a lot. Of, it's a lot of money but, too, right? So I well, it's to, a lot of time oh, and money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so that's the thing. I mean, I, I we talked about this before too. I mean, I would. There's a lot of figures I would love to get graded, high end figures. Yeah. Right? But I just think about the money. This one, yeah. but yeah, also the gotta, time. The time for it. Oh it's gonna be a couple hundred thousands. Yeah, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know? Yeah, I mean, there's guys that get built. I mean, I know there's there's some guys that. They, all they do is great. All mm-hmm. they do is great. And sometimes they get a yeah. bill for like 7000 Yeah, they it's die. crazy. Like, yeah, like, God dang. I mean, and they do those runs like every Yeah, week. and then, yeah, they do every those runs like every other week or something like that. So, But at the same time, they're also selling. Yeah, They're also selling those figures. So they're getting their money. You know, because, of course, when we talked about this. When you grade something, you could ask a little bit more money. But, I mean, yeah. but when it comes to sometimes just grading for your personal, which I think that's a good example to grade something. Just to verify that it is true, you know, just like what you need to do with this with this Boba Fett, you mm-hmm. know, that the removable rocket, you know, he wanted to make sure that it was hundred percent legitimate, and now there's no doubt about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that that yes. that that exactly. would be a good that would be a good reason why to send this off. Kind of to get it like verified. Mm-hmm. Sure I would, yeah. I would think that's a definitely a good idea to do that. And uh, yeah, that definitely that's something that I need to, you know, do pretty soon, maybe at least on that figure, and it's not something that uh. It's not like my favorite character or or favorite uh, uh, toy of, of transformer in my collection, but it's uh, it's a grail. It's a grail. It's something that I just came across. Okay, this this know? is a grail. Yes. This can be and called a grail when it when it's like yeah, cause close to be one of one. I know it might not be the only one, no, but no, it's, it's, but it's it's, a, it's close with that. That's where yeah. you can use the. A very right. rare item. There you go. Like no, it's just very, no, very this rare is a grill. to see. This is a I mean, Ruby Plus yeah. is very already hard to find sealed with GI Joes and GI Joes. You know GI Joes and Ruby Plus. Yeah. Have you seen those? Either? No, no, no. I don't want yeah, to get there. Yeah, those those things. When it comes to Ruby Plus, it's they're up there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. This <laughs> time the time flies when we got when we have a, a guest here. So, but, but we have to we have to you know wrap it up. Wrap, wrap it up. up. Uh, I definitely, you know, I, I, I thank you so much, Andres, for coming, for bringing all these, you know, beautiful pieces. I, I love this, you know, show and tell uh, yeah. <laughs> type of shows. And I think we got to start doing this because, honestly, I, I got good feedback on our last show. Yeah, no, know. This is, and, uh, yeah, I think it was fun. It was it's fun, fun, fun too. You had to show also some pieces and, and talk about them. You know, it's, uh, I thank you, thank you. I know, I know you took your, your time out of your weekend to, yeah. to, to. To do this. And thanks for bringing these. I mean, because sometimes when you bring stuff like this, like, yeah, I don't want to take it out of my collection, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, I really do appreciate you bringing this mm-hmm. high end no, stuff but... and nice things, man. I mean, you brought Whoa. some. You brought some heat. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's just you know, like some of my favorite characters, you know, mm-hmm. that I want, really wanted to share here. Ulises, thank you so much um, for having me here in your amazing main cave um, <laughs> and, and show podcast. Uh, Carlos, thank you again so much for uh, reaching out and everything. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's very very cool Any- that you, that you're doing here. You know this. Mm-hmm. Anytime, anytime, brother. You're you're more and than welcome. Let's see if we could convince Frank to come over. Here. Yeah, there's yeah. there's a lot of us out there in this uh, c- community here. And, and, and this is well known. That's what I'm saying. So I mean, you, 
you could tell the guys, hey, y'all, y'all want to come over? Yeah. We could choose pick a day or something and, and do like a, that's like a show and tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> that's, 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 that's pretty much what we talked about, me and, yeah. me and Ulysses and Vision. Like, hey, we, it's, we want to buy people, you know, and collectors from here in town, maybe some from out of town, you know, they can make it. That, that'd be great. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's mm. what we kind of, our, our yeah. goal would be. So Definitely. this is, this is, we're going down the right path, you know, and we, I think you're a true collector. And that's why I told, I told Ulysses, I think this will be a good candidate. And at the same time, He's going to talk about things that we haven't talked about. And we, and we don't, and then things that I don't know. So that, yeah. that, that, that's, that's it. You have to learn together. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so no, I, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing these beautiful pieces. Thank you for, you know, uh, educate me on this, on this matter. I know I have still have a, a lot more to, to learn. Uh, but but thank you thank you so much and, and hope, hope hopefully we can have you back anyway. and we're all learning you know <laughs> so it's, this never really ends we, we, all, we still all have to things. die yeah we have die learning we have to die yeah. learning yep that's the whole point all right guys all right thank you man thank, thank you so you. much appreciate you thank you thanks mr andres sorry thanks so much have a good one guys <laughs>